chatted with the one melt team, you may be to a point to where you want to check the unit RTD and heater. If you're getting a flaky reading on your display and it's from the unit zone, uh, then you, you want to look at your RTDs. RTDs don't fail uh, by not giving you any reading at all. They kind of start getting flaky. So if your temperature is bouncing around, it's a good indication that that's probably why. We'll also take a quick look at your, your heater so that you know about what ohm range to be the, to, for it to be in and also what to look for that. Here I've already taken apart my electrical panel. I've removed the cover. All energy is de-energized. I've physically removed power from the wall. I want to be safe on this. I don't want to be sticking my hands into a live electrical box. So all energy is down. The system has been off for about an hour, so it's not quite at room temperature. It's a little bit more. It's about 140 degrees F right now in the actual uh, manifold. That matters because that's where your RTD sits. That's what is going to dictate the temperature or the resistance of it. So it's, it's a nickel 200 at room temperature. That, uh, that should be in that 220 range. Right now at the uh, 140F temperature range, we should be in that 250 to 260 resistance reading. So on your main board, remove the J2 plug. J2 plug is here. Remove it, you're looking for the blue wires, right? So just get a resistance reading across those two blue wires and we should be in that 250 range. That's about the temperature we're gonna, we're gonna be in. So right now we're at that 255 resistance. So that's about what the resistance is for that 140F range. That lets me know that my RTD is in good standing. Now let's take a quick look at your, at your heater. The heater is the J5 location. It's plugged in right here on your, the lower left part of your board. Unplug that and get a resistance reading across those terminals as well. It should be in that 35 to 50 uh, ohm range. For me, on this one, my heater is 45 ohms. So we're in good standing. A continuity check would also show that it's, it's connected. The heaters fail typically by, they, they, they fail open. So there's gonna be a crack somewhere in that uh, heater lead to where it opens actually in the, in the actual cartridge itself. So that's typically how the heater will fail. So if you don't get any continuity across your heater, it's open. Um, if you do have continuity, check the resistance, make sure the resistance is good standing, and that 35 to 50 range is what you want.